Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to do our around the world, but we are going to do it into a high catch. This is one of those really fun exercises that martial artists will really, really, really enjoy. We are decelerating weight in a high catch. There's a couple of different wrist positions you can do with this exercise based on how martial art you want it to be or which specific martial art you do. But for the general population, think of this as a catch and not getting hit in the face. In previous videos, we talked about a warm-up exercise called Around the World. We're going to pick the kettlebell up with good technique, have our feet, let's say about shoulder width apart. We're going to move the weight around our body. We call it Around the World or Around the Body. You can pick whatever you want to call it. And of course, we would change directions and do both directions. There are versions of this with your feet wide. There are versions of this with your feet all the way together. Feet together is probably more advanced. Now what we are going to do is we are going to go around the body. As we're coming, we're gonna bring our hand from low to high. We're gonna use our other hand to stop the weight and then we are going to change directions. Decelerate force, accelerate force. Decelerate force, accelerate force. Bring the weight back down, change behind your back, come up, decelerate force, accelerate force. Change hands behind your back, decelerate force, accelerate force, change hands behind your back, decelerate, accelerate. This is a very fun exercise. Two feet pointed straight ahead, around the body. Start with a couple of reps of around the world to get moving. Now we are going to bring it up, decelerate force, accelerate, change hands. Decelerate, accelerate, change hands. Decelerate, accelerate, change hands. Decelerate, accelerate, change hands. Decelerate, accelerate, change hands. The thing that we want to make sure we're doing is as we decelerate, accelerate the weight out, that this arm is going to hit lockout as it is coming down, lock out before we change hands. Lock out, hook to bring the weight up. Martial artists will recognize this as a portion of a really big uppercut. Different martial arts will do the uppercut differently, but it's the same movement chain. Having that arm lock out here is a safety issue. That's important. If you try to do this with your arm bent, you're gonna eventually frag out something in here. Some tendon or some muscle is gonna give way. Also, when people bend their arm, they tend to hike this shoulder up and jack up their neck. So, as we bring it down, arm is straight. Try and let the shoulder track down. As long as you're not hurting your neck, you're probably doing it right. If you turn out and start doing this, you might start doing this thing with your knee. Some martial arts do do that when they shoot for leg takedowns. If you're not a martial art that does that, or you're just a normal person, don't do that. Point your feet straight ahead. Around the body, catch. Make sure you don't clock yourself in the teeth. Decelerate using your core and your legs. Accelerate, absorb force. Catch, 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 catch. You could make it more vertical up here, depending on how you want to do it. More vertical, more vertical, more vertical or more horizontal, more horizontal, more horizontal, more horizontal. Decelerating and accelerating weight is very important in athletics. That's what med ball training is. Decelerate for a wall ball, accelerate. Throwing med balls against the wall, accelerate, decelerate, accelerate. All these different exercises have different angles. The angle that you're firing at is the important part. All acceleration and deceleration exercises like this are very important to do for any type of athletics. It doesn't matter what type of athletics it is. Let's do a quick side view so you can see how the legs are moving as we do this activity. Around the body, decelerate. 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 I'm holding on to one corner with one hand. As I come around the back, 
my hands are not overlapped. They both have their own space. I'm also not throwing the kettlebell to the other hand. This one hand is not letting go until the other hand has a firm grip. So our hands are coming together. One hand is on, the other hand is on, then the other hand is off. I like to do this exercise for time and turn this into a time under tension activity. Say take a minute, 90 seconds or two minutes. Try and get more reps in the same amount of time. If you're moving faster and get more reps in the same amount of time, then you are decelerating and accelerating more force. If you're doing it with really heavy weights, then you can just count reps. Three reps on each side, four reps on each side, five reps on each side, and set it down. Start and learn this with a light weight. Very important. Learn it with a light weight. There's a lot of muscles in here that are not used in this way in a lot of other activities. Start light, don't drop it, be safe, don't hit yourself in the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> 